Hi guys, welcome back to Epic Airsoft HD. Today we got a midweek episode unboxing uh, from Patrol Base. If you've been following them on Facebook, you'll see that Carl's played a joke on me. Uh, we complained about the amount of chips, like little peanuts, packing peanuts that were in the box last time. And he's filled up one side with peanuts and one side empty. So I have to sort of guess what side it is. But he's told me to cut off this top box off first and then reveal the game underneath. So uh, cue saw music now. All right, let's get this box open. Mic back on first. Stuck to the cell tape. So patrol base, uh, as you probably noticed before, we've done a few of their guns. Uh, we'll put annotations on the screen that'll take you to the reviews and then while I cut this up. Uh, but they've been very good to us before. Uh, we've also got kind of spray paint for them as well. And we're due to get our spray paint and hydro dip episode up soon. Uh, we'll need to get a boxing of the hydro dip stuff as well, an unboxing of that as well, because I'm pretty excited about that. We got some multicam stuff and some carbon fiber stuff. So, gonna make the Echo One M24 pretty damn sick. All right, it's an interesting looking thing. It's a King Arms M4 pistol. So, you can see how short that is there. Actually, that's really cool. It's got a ultra upper and lower receiver, which is really nice. Pick box and some scary looking flash hider. So uh, expect a review of that sometime soon. So we'll get this gun out of the way and we'll do the rest of the unboxing. Kind of restricted here <laughs> to my microphone. Uh, right, okay, we need to cut this thing off somehow. Oh God, what's this say? So much celery. So patrol base, if you ever order anything from them, you know that the box is going to be strong enough to keep your gun good. So there we go, we'll just throw this off the end. Alright, so I have to guess. Want to play a game, you decide. Mwahaha. Thanks, Carol. Uh, I don't know. This one looks like it's got more tape on it, so I'm gonna go this side. Have to turn it around. So you guys, you should probably follow them on Facebook. They'll get cool like uh, products uh, and the photographs and stuff that they take are really cool. So if you're looking for any kind of like pack equipment and things as well, check out their website. It's really well laid out. All right, so let's find out. Oh, what's this? Oh, you fucking bastards. Right, okay, I've opened the chip side. <laughs> but there's something cool here. Let's rip this off. I guess I can get rid of it now. Uh, well done, Carl, I lost the game. So, we've got a couple of patches in here. Uh, we've got the chopper reed harden the fuck up. Probably bleep that one out. And we've got the immediate action patch, the one that I was uh, really after. So, that's awesome, thanks for that. Uh, I guess we could do a giveaway. And um, if you comment something witty in the comments box below, we'll give away a couple of patches. I'll pay for them, we'll get them sent out to you. Um, so yeah, put a witty comment down below and uh, we'll pick out some winners. All right, let's see what's inside this box. You're more interested in what's in here than packing beads. Well, I am anyway. All right, empty box. There's two boxes in here. Gun boxes. Loads of packing beads. Thanks. Ah, this looks cool. Another Altor gun of some sort. Yeah. I think this is short M4 weekends. So this is the M4 tanker uh, by King Arms. Again, Altor body, really cool. Little short res and we've actually got a stock on this one. So you can really compare the functionality between the two. So yep, let's have a look at the next one. This is a Oh, nice. We've got this weird CAA gun that I've noticed doing its rounds. I saw it up on the patrol base Facebook page as well. So I'll be interested to see what this is. I'm actually going to take this one out to have a look at it. 
because I've only ever saw pictures of it. At least get you guys looking at something other than boxes. It's the longest unboxing ever. So yeah. Alright, it's a really odd looking M4, a really strange foregrip and stock, but it actually looks pretty neat. The uh, receiver as well looks really beefy, something like the LaRue uh, with the actual trigger guard being machined into it. So quite a heavy rifle, it looks and feels really sturdy. So guys, if you want to check out uh, Patrol Base's Facebook page, they've also got a YouTube channel. I'll put the links in the description below for that. I'll even put a link annotation up to one of their videos on their Facebook page. If you want to check out the reviews of these guns, they'll be coming up. Uh, shortly just check out our Sunday reviews don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that and we'll see you then